I really like the fact that whenever I post a video, I get some really good questions about whatever I've been looking at. Often, I kick myself thinking, I should have thought of that myself, and on this occasion, that was one of those things. I was asked by Nightjar whether the uh, Quick Charge 3.0 output on this power bank, and in fact any Quick Charge 3.0 output, could be used as a viable 12 volt supply. And that's a very good question. And I dug around in the drawers here in the solar shed and I found I've already got all the bits I need to test whether that's an option. And what you need is something to connect to this power bank to convince its IC internally that you want it to deliver 12 volts. And these items are exactly what we're after. These are QC trigger modules. Now I bought both of these a while ago and uh, I've seen Julian Eilert play with this particular one but actually I wasn't too enamoured with it. I much prefer this one so I'm going to get a bit closer in. So straight away we can see a line of tactile switches here at the bottom of the module. One that's labelled mode, one that's labelled V minus minus and one that's labelled V plus plus. At the top of the module, we've got an LED to indicate whether this is uh, Quick Charge 2.0 or Quick Charge 3.0. And finally, four LEDs in a line at the top, referenced here, out voltage. And we've got 4 to 6.9 volts, 7 to 10.9 volts, 11 to 14.9, and 15 to 20 volts. And we'll take a close look here at the ICs on the board. First of all, on the left-hand side here, we've got a voltage regulator. I think that'll be a 3-volt regulator. Uh, next, we've got a 14-pin device marked PK01 4.2V3. Um, and I haven't been able to find any concrete information on that particular 14-pin IC. But lastly, and uh, up the other way, there we go, we've got an Atmel 24C02 microcontroller. So without further ado, let's plug it in. And obviously I'm going to have to choose the right port because this top one here is normal USB. And the second one is uh, the quick charge compatible port. Let's plug this in, turn the power bank on and straight away we can see an LED there next to quick charge 3.0. And the first LED is illuminated, the one marked 5 volts and uh, 4 to 6.9 volts. And of course that gives us the ideal opportunity to talk about the differences between Quick Charge 2 and Quick Charge 3. Oh, that's just gone off. Let me turn the power bank back on. If we press the mode button, we can change to Quick Charge 2.0 let's have a look at that on a meter so i've got the trigger plugged into the power bank now and my port power meter here plugged in and i also have a very small just 100 milliamp load on there which uh, prevents the power bank from switching off now as we can see on the trigger we're in quick charge 2.0 mode this led here is illuminated and so is the 5 volt um, there so we can press the plus and that will bring us into the 9 volt mode and as we can see here there's 8.94 volts on that USB output we can again click that one more time and we go into the 12 volt mode with 11.9 volts there on the output so uh, this seems to work fairly well and we can go up and down between those different standards just by pressing the up and down tactile switch. And here we are now in quick charge 3.0 mode, that LED is illuminated and the 5 volt LED is illuminated and that's exactly what we've got, 5 volts on the output. However this time when I press the increment button um, it just jumps up by just 200 millivolts and if I press it again a further 200 millivolts and that's my understanding of the major difference between quick charge 2.0 and quick charge 3.0 
2.0 uses three definite voltages, 5, 9 and 12 volts, whereas Quick Charge 3.0 uses a 200 millivolt increment so that the device and the charger can find that sweet spot between the two of them to get the most charge into your device as quickly as possible. So I can whiz through these 200 millivolts per press and we're up to nearly 8 volts there, yeah 8 volts keep pressing up to the 9 volt section and of course the LED on board has changed now uh, 9.2 volts or thereabouts all the way up to oh, 10, 11, 12 and uh, I don't want to go much higher because my little electronic load is only good for 13 volts but we do seem to have peaked there at 11.91 volts. So the question still remains, can a quick charge 2.0 or 3.0 compatible power bank or charger be a useful 12 volt supply? Well, I have a USB to 5.5 2.1 mil adapter here, so that will go straight in to the quick charge 2.0 trigger. And I've got a lamp here which I've uh, soldered a couple of wires on and this is a 12 volt 18 watt festoon lamp and there it is and if I plug that in well indeed it's glowing bright well not that bright uh, because we're only in 5 volt mode here we are in quick charge 2.0 so if I just increase that to 5 volts while well, that lamp is looking much healthier isn't it and uh, 12 volts, well, that the lamp is positively sparkling. And we can see now with my DVM connected across the lamp here, uh, we're seeing actually 10.98 volts. That's probably due to the quality of this cable because at 18 watts, it will be pulling a reasonable current. And in fact, if I get my current meter here, um, we're seeing, well, 1.1 amps across there. So 1.1 times 11, well, that's about 13 watts, something like that, just under, perhaps. Well, yeah, that's not too bad for an 18-watt lamp, a little bit low, perhaps. Yes, but I have been able to successfully power a 12-volt load here from a Quick Charge 3.0 power supply so uh, I can't see many applications where that's going to be terribly useful um, but I've definitely been able to do it well actually as it happens I've just thought of one perhaps the power's gone at home well if you're anything like me you'll have a fully charged uh, power bank ready at the go and if you've got one of these little triggers well you could unplug this pointless lamp here and uh, with an adapter plug in your router for example and uh, this one takes 12 volts and in fact there we go that's lit up and ready for action so powering 12 volt devices is entirely possible from a quick charge 2.0 or 3.0 charger or power bank this may not be the most practical solution however it may come in handy once in a while Hopefully you've enjoyed this video, if you have, give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, comment if you can, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.